Welcome to Zoological World today we will discuss about Biscuit Beetle. The Biscuit Beetle is a small, unassuming insect that many people consider to be a pest. While they do not bite people, these insects consume lots of food and destroy some property. They seem to have adapted very well to human agriculture over the last several millennia. This article will cover some interesting facts about identification, diet, habitat, and prevention of the biscuit beetle. Biscuit beetle species, types, and scientific name The scientific name of the biscuit beetle is Stegobium panaceum. The genus name Stegobium may derive from the Greek word steg, which refers to a type of covering, like the equally descriptive name Stegosaur. Panaceum comes from the Greek word panis for bread. This species is the only living member of its genus, but scientists have found aged amber fossils dating back nearly 100 million years from New Jersey that contain ancient forms of the biscuit beetle. This species belongs to the beetle family of Patinidae, which also includes a number of wood-boring beetles and other annoying pests that infest plants. Appearance How to identify the biscuit beetle The adult biscuit beetle is a small brown insect with an oval-shaped body, measuring no more than 4 mm long. Perhaps the most distinctive feature is the unique wing covers. The outside of the cover is etched in parallel rows of grooves or pits, which should aid quite a bit in identification. This species is similar in appearance to the closely related cigarette beetle, but the main difference is that the cigarette beetle has a smooth shell and is overall smaller in size. The biscuit beetle passes through several different stages in its life cycle. Before it reaches adulthood, the larvae are small white grubs with thin hairs all over the body. Just like the adults, the larvae are easy to accidentally mistake for the cigarette beetle, but the difference is that the biscuit larva has shorter hairs and red markings on the head that end in a straight line. Once it has sufficiently grown, the larva will enter the pupa stage by encasing itself in a cocoon over the entire body. Where to find the biscuit beetle The biscuit beetle can be found all over the world from temperate to tropical regions. They seek out warm locations, especially during the winter, in order to survive. This species can infest any building where dried plant food is found, including flour mills, bakeries, factories, food plants, drug stores, and restaurants. If they infest the home, then biscuit beetle will gravitate naturally to the pantry or kitchen. The adults do have the ability to fly through the air, which helps them find new places to infest. They also hitch a ride as food is moved from factory to market and then to the home. What does the biscuit beetle eat? The biscuit beetle is an herbivore at all stages of its life cycle. This means it feeds exclusively on plant matter. What eats the biscuit beetle? The biscuit beetle has a number of insect predators, including predatory mites, darkling beetles, and checkered beetles, as well as some larger vertebrates. They are also preyed upon by parasitoid wasps which may lay their eggs directly on the beetle to consume it whole. What does the biscuit beetle eat? True to its name, the biscuit beetle consumes all kinds of dried plant products, including flour, cereal, rice, seeds, beans, pasta, tea, tobacco, chocolates, and spices. One of the more interesting facts is that they can derive nutrients from non-food products such as books, leather, horns, and fur. Most of the food is consumed during the larval stage because they need to grow to sufficient size before reaching adulthood. The adults feed far less often and sometimes may not feed very much at all, 